Good morning. It's a brand new day. It is easily my life. Let's go. guys i'm on my way to church i'm back on the rock giving god thanks i miss the family but i'm also happy to be in jamaica boy may i tell you this love i don't want to say love here this love love situation mighty god but i had a great time in canada for the christmas and um before i left we went bowling you know just to have that last family time before I came back to Jamaica. So guys, wanna check that out? I'm on the way to on my way to church. So I'll see you guys in church. Alright? Watch your ride. Tell the story when Daniel birthday what happened? When Daniel birthday, I I did this to Daniel birthday and I walked, I thought this was the door open and walked straight into the cabin. I lick up your fire. I lick up the whole Oh no, my darling. Hey, everybody just pray for me. But guess what? The most important thing that happened that time is when I get that picture, I just said, Lord, by your stripes, I'm healed. The pain never really linger. Oh, so you never feel nothing. You never got you nothing. No, but it's a rough man because I don't remember. That was like pain. I, I remember. I give me a muscle up. Yep, yep, but I laugh off of my wife. Wait, no, I didn't. I didn't mean to laugh. I was laughing at the moment. He was laughing at the moment. That actually, I was laughing at the moment. Okay. So it's my last night in Canada before I head back to Jamaica. I will do some bowling tonight, you understand? I don't know if so I always step on the winning team. So I just watch. I just watch. Yes, sir! We were the champs. 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 We won. Oh, okay, they were the champs. We are the champs. We are. <laughs> we finished one page and we finished our three page. Yeah. Oh, we won. We won. We won. We won. The race is not for the swift. We won. To the very end. Yeah, it's your time. Come on, come on, it's your time. All right, so I'm at church. It's time to preach this word. So drink little mint. I'm getting tired, Jesus. One after the two. 
picture of myself and then to my work. You yeah, understand? I'm not the best job in the world. Do I? I actually do, alright? All right, let's get into the Word of God. I'll be reading from the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 14 and verses 22 to 33. The book of Matthew, chapter 14, verses 22 to 33. The scripture reads, Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowd. After, dismi after he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone, and the boat was already a considerable distance from land. Buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and he was afraid and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Father, this is your word. It is true. It is potent, just in the form that it is. Lord, as I bring some revelation to your word, through your Holy Spirit, we declare thy will be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. My theme for this morning is Focus 24. Focus 24 with a sub team, the year of focus. That's what the Lord spoke to me about for the coming year. He said that 2024 for pure in heart, it is a year of focus. You know, we have had uh, um, the year of favor. The year of favor is so nice. You understand what we are the year of favor, everybody excited. Because really and truly, you don't have to do nothing much to receive favor. Favor is just given. Some of we were not even good, but favor just dropped out the same way. And that's why they have a saying that favor is unfair, right? Because when favor finds you, it just finds you. You don't have to do nothing for it. However, 2024, the year of focus is really up to you. Because God can't focus for you. How am I can't focus for you? You have to focus for yourself, and I like sometimes when God gives us the responsibility. Responsibility it enables it enables us to grow. It enables us to be better. And if the Lord says that the year of focus is next year, it only means that a whole lot of destruction is going to come, and we are already living in a world that is very hard. To get rid of distractions. We're easily distracted. Come on. Even when we're watching the movies, we are distracted. Many of us while we're watching movies these days, you know, we're on our phone, you know. So we are the Instagram and movie. We are the TikTok and movie. Someone has smiled because I must say, oh God, Pastor, I really love my business. Yes, man. Some of us who can't even get through a church sermon. And we are not. On our phones. And I'm talking about taking notes. Because some way, we're in here and we are listening, but we still are looking what I go on the live now. What am I saying? Oh, Jesus oh, and oh, Pisa, that happened to our mighty God, they mix up a church in there, you know. But it shows you how distracted we are, especially with our phones. But anyway, I did not come here this morning to talk to you guys about phones. I came here to talk about. Focus. See there? One call away. 
Don't worry about it. It was planned. I just want for sure not all the thing go. <laughs> Sometimes destruction is just one call away. You ever get up to pray it? The whole man in the up now do not need him. But the moment you decide, say, you know what, God? Oh, gosh, me get up this morning. Me never even give God five minutes of my time. You go down by your knees. Then you hear the phone. I'm only one. The devil. The devil is only a call away. Mm-hmm. We are so distracted in this world. Yeah? But God wants us to Focus for next year. Because I believe that there are great things in store for us for 2024. Mighty God. I declare that 2024 will not only be a year of focus. But 2024 a year of more. And I'm not talking about more misery. But more joy. More peace. More love. Come on. More finances. I declare that it will be a year of more as we focus. Because it's easy, you know, we could have just named 2024 the year of more and everybody nice and about God. I said, no, it's not that the more is not there. But you have a work to do and it is your job to be focused. Tell someone, be focused. Be focused. Mm-hmm. What's the definition of focus? When I looked up the definition, this is what I found. The center of interest. Focus, the center of interest. So the question is, what will be your interest for 2024? Because you see, God has given me a very wide word, focus. But our lives are all at different places. What is it that God wants you to zone in on for 2024? Now, we can talk about work, we can talk about our our business, what we want to do, our plans and our ideas, and that's all good. But I want us to know that as believers, our first and foremost focus should be for us to have a closer relationship with God. Let me see the hands of those who truly desire a closer relationship with God. Yeah. We should all desire a closer relationship with God. And even for those who don't know Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, your focus should first be to accept Jesus Christ in your heart as your personal Lord and Savior. And then when you have done that, then you can start to develop a relationship with him. Matthew 6 and verse 33 says, But seek first his kingdom and what? righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well one verse has said and all these things will be added unto you what was the scripture speaking about when it says these things it was talking about food clothing and shelter the things that we talk about the most every day what we are going to wear every day what we are going to eat hmm? every day we think about paying the rent or the mortgage but he was saying hey if you Seek me first. These things will not be a problem. Why? Because when we seek God, he speaks to us. And when he speaks to us, he gives us insight. He gives us wisdom. Have you ever had so many things to do? And it is so pressuring that at some point you have to say, Holy Spirit, guide me. And the moment you ask him to guide you, you realize That immediately you start to find strategies of, okay, this is what I need to do. I'll leave this until tomorrow. This is not so important. And him just sought out everything the moment we acknowledge him. That's why he wants us to seek him. Because when we seek him, we, it's almost like we cast our cares on him. Like the scripture says, cast your care on him because he what? Cares for you. But sometimes we'll go for cares. You ever have a friend yet and him just say, but but, why may I have this to do? And he doesn't say, settle down, settle down. What do you say I have to do? All right, you don't worry about that. Me will pick up the child from school. But you see, if you don't speak to somebody, I'm not saying for walk around or tell everybody your problems. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying God has provided help for us. First, he's the first helper. And then he has, and he has provided help in the form of friends, in the form of family, and sometimes in the form of strangers. 
I've, I've been on buses back in the day where Missy Mommy coming with a baby with us a ball. So. And somebody just said, like, Give it, when you look at Mommy, she's stressed out, you know, she's not anymore for giving like she's just one second away from passing out. But somebody who is a mother who understands and who has been through it, just said, Mommy, let me help you. If you don't mind, let me hold the child for you. And she just, she hand over the child quick. No, quick, quick, quick. Because she doesn't need a break. She hand over the child so quick and said, thank you very much. You understand? So, so, so there's help for us. And that's what we do when we go to God on a daily basis. That's why prayer is not a once a week thing. It's supposed to be a lifestyle. And that's why we have made this bold decision in our 40 days fast that starts tomorrow. To meet for 40 days. It look extra, you know. But really and truly, devotion should be a, you know, name every day. <laughs> Many of them say eat, you know, name every day. And we don't argue about it. And some people are going to say, 40 days we are praying, 40 days, you know, non stop. As a matter of fact, three times for the day. For a set of people, what's my brother coming out of now? Oh, you find five meal. Because three full meal and snacks in between. Somehow with three full meal, our snack from a wake up till we go to bed, we still a snack. You buy the snack for the picnic, and you would think that you are the picnic because you are near the snack. <laughs> Somebody say, Oh, sir, I mean that. You know, a snack I got long, so. Right? But we, <laughs> we have to seek God first in everything that we do. So our first and foremost focus should be Him. I love today's service. It was so fulfilling for me. The focus word. I came in at the end and got the focus word and I was like, wow, look at this. Because I have so many things in the pipeline, so many things that I want to see fulfilled for myself and for my family. And this was really the cap for me, just to hear that really what we need to cement it is to just focus. And that will help to bring everything together. So I was really and truly blessed for that. Thank you, Prophet, for bringing the word because it was necessary. I am so glad that I came and got that word today. So 24, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Looking forward to it. The word was awesome today. And the, going into 2024, focus is the, is the key word. And for me, the second point, do not compare yourself to others. That's the number one thing for me um just want to say big up to pastor ryan mark and his family and a happy new year when it comes yes good morning parents good morning family today's word was awesome i feel encouraged feel like we can take on the world for 2024 i am expectant of big and greater things for the ministry and personal gains for myself happy new year prophet ryan mark and his family Happy, happy New Year to the ministers of your not ministries. Enough big things I got. Gotta go work. Trust me. Good morning, Pure and Heartless. This is something that I wrote. A lack of focus is a distraction to our faith. I love you, Pastor. Well, the word for me today was actually very amazing. It impacted me and it was a good reminder that I need to stay focused and going into 2024, I will definitely, definitely, definitely be a lot more focused and try not to be distracted by a lot of things. But you know, I pray that the new year will be great for all of us and that in 2024, God will continue to build pure in hearts and build us individually. Okay, so today the word for me was so good and the last of the day you know you need something for you know pump you up for 2024 and this definitely pumped me up because i'm definitely going to be way more focused in 2024 and what stood out to me today is to solidify your faith because honestly that has been 
my goal for like 2023 and I'm bringing it over into 2024. So bless you, Prophet Ryan, and I pray that you and your family will have a great 2024, you know, all the blessings. Love, not much love. My EML family, church is just done, you know. I head home now, get some rest. It was a good service. Yeah. Very good service. Focus, the year of focus. Yeah, focus 24, guys. Focus 24. I pray God's blessings upon you guys for this new year. I pray that you'll be focused. I pray that everything that God has in store for you, that you shall receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When I know the thing going on, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. This has been easily my life.